in this video we are going to derive the equation for the input and output resistance already we have finished the gain equation derivation now after replacing the t model for a q1 transistor and q2 transistor and making all dc voltages equal to zero we get this particular circuit and the same circuit we are rewriting like this which is already discussed in the video where we have discussed a gain equation now this is the way we are replaced and uh, t model is here ammeter 1 and ammeter 2 joint and re we have the same re we have Dual input balanced output AC equivalent circuit is shown in this figure. Now, note the gain equation we have already derived. Now, we are going to find out uh, Rn1, Rn2. We know V is equal to I into R, Ohm's law, R is equal to V divided by R. And also, we have derived the equation I1, Ie2 in the previous uh, video. I1 equal to equation 9A. I2 equal to equation 9B. Now we know R is equal to V divided by I. R in I want to find out and R equal to V by I. That's why V in 1 is a voltage at these two points and current flowing is a IB1, hence IB1. And we are making sure that V in 2 equal to 0. When I am talking about RI2, then V in 2 divided by IB2, that time V in 1 will be 0. And IB1 is given by I1 divided by beta AC because we are talking about AC analysis. RI1 is a resistance looking from V in 1 point. R in 1 and R in 2 are very small, hence can be ignored. The derivation RI1 equal to V in 1 divided by IB1 and substituting the value of I1 from the equation number 9A, we are going to get this. How? Again, you can refer I1 equal to is this, and this is the previous equation Ri1 equal to simply I substituted this, and I got this equation. Now, V in 1, V in 1 will get cancelled, this will become 0, huh? 0 multiplication with something will be something, 0. Yes or no? Now, next is I will take this to the numerator and I will rewrite, I will get this equation. You can pause and you can say it twice so that you can understand better r square r square will cancel when you expand this a plus b whole square like that and this is the equation r i when i got equation number 13. next r e is very high compared to r e so r e plus 2 r is almost equal to 2 r e and r e plus r e equal to almost equal to r e so i rewrite and r e r e get cancelled then i get a r i 1 equal to 2 beta is into RE, this is equation number 14. Similarly, I can do RI2 equal to V in 2 divided by IB2, V in 1 equal to 0. Now I will substitute IE2 and I rewrite. So when I substitute IE2, again now I will get a IE2 here and RE into 0, V in 1 I have made 0, hence it will become 0. Again I will cancel V in 2, V in 2. And again, I expand this a plus b whole square like that. R square, r square will get again. So, remain, I'll get this. R R I two is given by equation number fifteen. Again, generally, R is very greater than R. Hence, R plus two R equal to almost two R. And R plus R equal to R. Hence, I rewrite and R R get cancelled. Again, R I two is also equal to two beta is e into R. This is the output resistance I want at collector 1 and collector 2. So, collector 1 with respect to ground is nothing but RC only. Similarly, collector 2 if you want R02 with respect to ground, C2 with respect to ground means I will get a RC only. Hence, output resistance directly I can write it is a RC. Thanks for watching this video. Share this video if you like. Subscribe this channel. Thank you.